Welcome to week two, day one of our series, And When You Pray. This week, we're going to continue to focus on the introduction to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today, we're going to focus on the phrase, hallowed be your name. Hallowed is an interesting word. We don't use that word very much anymore. Hallowed means simply to make holy or to treat as holy. We do that by trusting and believing in God. That's how we make his name holy. In Numbers 20, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, because you did not trust me enough to demonstrate my holiness to the people of Israel, you will not lead them into the land I'm giving them. So in other words, we could say, because Moses and Aaron didn't trust the Lord, they didn't treat God as holy. When we don't trust God, we don't treat him as holy. Another part to hallowing God's name is by obeying him. In Leviticus 22, verse 31, it says, you must faithfully keep all my commands by putting them into practice. For I am the Lord. Do not bring shame on my holy name. In other words, when we don't obey God and practice what we know to be true, we bring shame on God's holy name. So you could put it this way. In order to hallow God. In order to treat him as holy, we have to trust and obey. I remember the words to the song long ago that said, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. Today, let's pray that we would trust and that we would obey. And as a result of that, we would bring honor to God, that we would treat him as holy, that we would hallow God by trusting and obeying. Would you pray with me? Father, help us to trust you. Help me to trust you. with the difficulties and with the challenges that I'm faced with in life, may I believe in you. And now take a moment and confess those areas that you have difficulty trusting God with. It might be your marriage, maybe your finances or a relationship or a friend. But right now, confess that you trust God even with the difficult things. Just repeat after me. God, I trust you. And now, in your own words, trust And finally, Lord, we pray that we wouldn't just trust you, but we would obey you. Right now, there may be something in your life where you know you're supposed to do something, but you haven't done it. Would you right now just confess to the Lord that you'll be obedient to do what he's called you to do? 
join with me in prayer. Father, give me the courage and the strength to do what you've called me to do. And now in this moment, would you confess to the Lord how you're going to be obedient to him today? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Father, I trust you, I obey, and by doing so, I treat you as holy. In Jesus' name, 